At the memorial, Miss Robbie says this was a setup. This was somebody he knew. And it came to be true. Thank you for joining. Please be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll know when I upload new videos. Please keep in mind, these are my opinions and not the law. Hey, I just wanted to jump on real quick and share my thoughts about Tim Norman of Sweetie Pie's fame being arrested for the murder or in connection up with the murder of his nephew, Andre. And we all saw Andre on the show, very sweet young man. We saw Tim, Robbie, and the rest of the family um, having such grief about his murder. Andre is like one of the beats in my heart and it's gone, it's gone and we can't get him back. We tried to give him a better life and he lost his life here. But we could have closure if somebody would tell who did this to Andre. They set him up. It was somebody he knew because he got a phone call and he went outside and when he got outside, they shot him. He wouldn't have gone outside for a stranger. So we pray every night for the police to find the people that did this to Andre. Everybody that spoke had a powerful message. I'm hoping that the community listen, and especially the black men, so we can pull together, uplift each other, support each other, and not kill each other. And I, Rob, excuse me, Miss Robbie, feeling so guilty about his murder because um, he had went back to St. Louis visiting and was killed. And I assume Tim thought that nobody would really look into the crime because St. Louis is known, uh, the area he was in was known for a lot of violence, killings, murders, and things of that nature. Now you have to know this man had to have a warped mentality. His father was killed, uh, murdered by, by a gun. His brother was killed in St. Louis, and also his um, cousin. His cousin was killed and murdered in St. Louis. And this man is nothing short of evil to want to kill his own nephew, his only brother's living son, for, uh, they said he had a life insurance policy in the amount of $450,000. I don't believe it was paid out. All the reports say that he attempted to get the life insurance money. Now, he was so dumb, he... Um, co convinced a stripper to go along with him and paid her, reportedly paid her $9,000 to set Andre up. So she met up with Andre, let him know, uh, text him and let him know, hey, he's here, he's leaving out the door now. As soon as Andre walked out, he was shot and killed. He was. They were at a recording studio. And the young lady, uh, right after that, deposited $9,000 in several bank accounts. And both Tim, Tim and herself got uh, burner phones, and that's how they were corresponding. So this man sat and let, him, let, his, mom, let his mom cry on his shoulder and mourn for the death of his nephew with the entire family, knowing that he has set this young man up for money. And you know what? This is the problem that I have with uh, social media today. Everybody is so convinced that money, money, money. If I'm rich, if I have these cars, if I have this type of house, if I have this amount in my bank account, it validates me. And I know everyone doesn't probably go to this extreme, but you do have a lot of celebrities and a lot of regular folks, nurses, teachers, um, students that are convinced that money and material things will validate their self-worth. You see it with everyone starting an OnlyFans page. You see it with the things that are posted on social media. Nobody speaks about their peace. Nobody speaks about their true happiness. They post um, in front of a picture with the car. They post in front of, oh, I got a new house. Oh, I got a new car. I have these shoes. I have this outfit on. Nobody is interested in working on the inside. And it's all related because I just feel like he got consumed with the fame and he couldn't keep up with the lifestyle and he thought it was an easy way to get more money. Um, I don't know if it's absolutely certain, but if he is guilty of that crime, 
I hope that he really rots, rots in jail. And you know, the, the guilt just eats him up inside because how do you rebound from that? Like, honestly, even if he's found not guilty, how do you even have a relationship with your family after you have been accused? Even if you're not found guilty, even if he gets off, how do you deal with your family after you have been accused of killing your own nephew? How do you talk to your mom? How do you talk to his mother? How do you talk to your cousins and aunts and everyone involved? Who would absolutely want to deal with you? And if you don't remember, this is the same Tim Norman that Jennifer Williams uh, accused of stalking her. Also, he had a bad incident with his the mother of his firstborn son, Janae. Uh, he was accused of threatening her. She was very nervous about him coming around and things like that. And he played the victim card. Oh, I couldn't possibly. She just wants me still and this and that. And everybody comes to find out that he is an evil man. He has an evil heart. He has no soul, you know, to do something like this. Um... I don't even know what else there is to say other than he's such an evil man. What do you guys think about the arrest of Tim Norman? Um, there hasn't been a press release or anything out from his team. I just pray for Miss Robbie. Hope that you know she's able to deal with this. I know she is an older woman, and I pray that this doesn't cause such stress on her or her heart.